So I've had the Soundforest app on my phone for an entire year. I originally downloaded it for a video where I tried out terrible beat making apps. However, it wasn't actually that bad. I mean, it still could be bad. I only tried it out for two minutes and I haven't touched it since. So today I thought I'd finally take a look at this app and see if it is worth the price of $2. Let's go ahead and get started. So I've just started up a new project in the app and as you can see we have all of our different sounds down here. We've got some plants, we've got some animals. Nice. And a mountain. So this is pretty much just essentially the same as Mario Paint apart from the fact that individual notes cannot be played. They're all sort of set to a scale. Yeah, but I think I might be able to still come up with something pretty decent. So let's start off our beat making. I think I might try to find some percussion sounds. That tree sounds pretty good. Let's put a couple in. Nice. Maybe put one of those trees in there. Got a shaker. Oh yeah. Let's just put a whole bunch of these hi-hats in there. Nice! That's pretty good. Nice little clip. I actually think that mountain at the end was a kick drum. Yeah, that's good. Nice 808. So let's just draw in some of these mountains here. Let's try that. <laughs> nice! Oh, that fox is actually pretty decent. Yeah, that sounds better. What is that meant to be? Is that meant to be a bunny? I can't tell. Let's put some of these owls in. We'll just go like that. So now that was actually really quick. Now I think I'm already finished with this first beat. I just wanted to make something really simple just so I could get my head around the app. So here's the first beat that I made. Yeah. Oh, not bad at all for five minutes. Now, I don't think that this app is as complex as something like the My Singing Monsters Composer app or even Mario Paint, but I think it still seems pretty fun. Let's go ahead and start up a new beat, but for this one, I'm actually gonna switch over to the second page, and now we've got a whole lot of new instruments. So yeah, let's go ahead and make another beat. I'm gonna try and make this one a little bit more in depth. I might also make it a bit longer. This time, I think I might start off with something melodic. Give that a try. It's horrible. <laughs> that is gonna do. That is hideous. Let's try to find some kicks and snares. Ooh, that is really good. Let's go ahead and put a couple of those in. Ooh, I like that sound. Let's replace this sound here. That's better. Let's have a listen to that. Still just as bad, but I think I like the sound a bit more. I actually like these sounds. Ooh, that's fat. Where are the normal drum sounds? There's just these ones here. Oh well, I guess we're just gonna go with those. Oh, I know that we got a snare. Yeah! <laughs> That's the worst melody ever. Oh, actually, I'll put that one in there. I still don't think I've come across a kick drum yet. I might actually just have to use this bass sound here. I think that is the closest thing I'm gonna get. <laughs> oh, that is really bad. I think that's worse than my first beat. Is there really no normal kick drums? I think that's what's ruining the song. Maybe I'll get rid of those bass hits. Those didn't really work. Let's try pitch this down. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is no good. So I don't actually think it's gonna get much better than that for the kick drum. Let's just put that back in and we can be done with this beat. <laughs> The percussion sounds a lot more from this first page, but I think the second scene here had a lot better instruments. It was just really let down by the percussion sounds, which is a shame. But anyway, let's go ahead and move over onto the next set of sounds. So it looks like we have safari animals here. Nice. Let's check them out. 
Oh, I actually like that. Nice, got a really fat bass drum that just distorts in my headphones. Let's speed it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put some of these in. Oh, yeah, that's actually sounding pretty good. What I might actually do is I might make this one a bit longer. So let's just go onto the second page, put all of our stuff back in, just like that. So far, I'm actually liking these animal sounds a lot more than the last set of animals. I haven't made it out of the drum sounds yet though, so I can't speak too soon. Let's put one of these at the start. Now just take one of these and put it right at the end. So I think that is enough percussion. Now let's move on to the instruments. Is there any? <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this black cat and put in a little bit of a bass line. Maybe we'll go there and back down. Let's have a listen to that. Hey! <laughs> that actually sounds really good. Let's try putting these little flutes. Oh God. Oh God, that's the wrong note. Now one problem that I'm actually having is it doesn't seem like all of the instruments are set to the same scale. So you can actually place two different instruments in the same space and they won't play the same pitch. So this makes it pretty hard to make anything melodic and it also makes layering up multiple instruments pretty much impossible. Well, I mean not impossible, but it'll just sound really bad. Nah. I just really can't get anything that works. So there's only a couple melodic tones for the sound set, so I think I'm just gonna have to layer in some more percussion. <laughs> so now I think I'm already done with this beat. It has got barely any instruments, but I was just struggling to come up with something that went along with this bass line. So let's go ahead and have a listen to the finished beat. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I actually think that one there is a certified banger. I'm actually pretty surprised I was able to make something that sounded decent as well. But I need to move on. Let's go ahead and have a listen to the last set of animals. And it looks like we have a whole lot of fishy stuff. And a mountain. Let's go through and have a listen. That's annoying. Ooh, that's a fat kick. Let's put some of those in. Where me snares at? These actually sound really cool sounds. Ooh, I like that one. So I'm pretty confident that this is the best collection of sounds here. I think it is just missing a few percussion sounds. Like I don't think there is any proper snares. Yeah, that's cool. I think that's the closest thing that I'm gonna get to a snare. Hey, that kind of works. Let's put in some hi-hats, get a nice roll going. Yeah, that's sounding pretty good. Ooh. Just going to try getting rid of all of these and let's mix it up a bit. Oh no, I have made a bad decision. I should have just left it how it was. So there we go. That is my quick look and play around with the Sound Forest app, which has been sitting on my phone's home screen for the past year. I don't actually think that was too bad. I just kind of wish I didn't pay for it. This app is actually free, but to unlock all of the instruments, you need to watch like 100 advertisements, one for every instrument, which I would rather not do. I still don't think it is a bad app though. I still managed to make one decent beat. The only thing is I just really wish that all of the instruments were in the same key and didn't just play random notes. I think that's what really killed it for me. Once you started to layer up multiple instruments, everything just started to clash together, which is actually the reason why all of my beats only ended up having one or two things playing at a time. But at the end of the day, I still thought it was a decently fun Mario Paint clone. At least I really like the art style. But yeah, anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Make sure to let me know if there's any music making apps, which I should check out in the comments below. And I will see all of you in the next couple of days for my next upload. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.